Hello there. Hope you are all having a good day. This is the LK9 Fire right here, bringing you yet another gameplay. If you sure do enjoy this commentary slash gameplay, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, and be sure to leave a like if you do enjoy the gameplay. And this is Tonghazi Division again. I am really enjoying this game, guys. So I, you will be expecting more gameplays in the future when this game does get released. I kind of stopped playing it because of beta, and there's nothing else to really do as it's very, very restricted. And yeah, that's pretty much why I do not really play much of it no more. So about March time would be when I upload more of Division. But anyway, I kind of want to explain about the Dark Zone. The Dark Zone is a very curious place for people, and people still understand how it works. Um, the first thing it is, you see the purple rank I'm on the top right now. That is my DZ rank, and what it is is a Dark Zone rank, of course. And you rank up by either killing uh, people like AI's people or computer players on the in a dark zone area you get more xp and they could drop good loot as well or you get more xp if you kill people in general as in pvp but if you do kill someone you go rogue and what does rogue mean it means you've got a bounty on your head and pretty much if someone kills you you will lose your xp and you could possibly derank yourself so pretty much it's a level it's a you level up and derank system like if you die when rogue you lose more xp like you lose a tons of xp but if you just die in general you won't lose as much xp so, what this rank does as well, if you do not know, uh, you get access to better loot around the area, so it gives you more chance of getting better stuff for your guy. So, you kind of have to avoid people, or you can kill people if you want to, depending on if you want to be rogue or not, or if you're in a team. Or you can actually just go around and kill AIs or try and find loot. It's pretty much up to you, whatever floats your boat. And as you see here, the weather conditions is actually quite... It's, it's, it's nice, because... At some point, you'll be able to see a far distance, and right here, I cannot see anything. It's really hard to see, so it make it more interesting on gunfights wise or f sneaking up on people. As you see, there's a stretching helicopter up there, and what you can do with a stretching helicopter from um, point A to point B is you can go to that stretching helicopter and kill the guy that's actually stretching his stuff, and pretty much you can steal his stuff and extract it yourself. So pretty much you can steal his extraction and take the stuff for yourself, and yeah, this is how it works really, it's how you actually get loot from the dark zone if you don't know. To get loot from the dark zone, yeah, of course you have to extract it and you have to wait a certain amount of time to put it on the actual helicopter line, what comes down and then you put, it, you tra you put your stuff on there and it goes into the helicopter, flies away, and goes through contaminated fields to make it useful again. Or you can pretty much just be, wait and bait someone to actually go onto the thing and shoot him dead pretty much and just take his loot because that's what happened to me like i killed a guy on one of the zones on the stretch and helicopter and he died but well, i killed him and he got up and i took his stuff and i tried to stretch on the helicopter and another guy shot me dead so it is a more like a fight for the gear because once you get a good gear you're sorted like it's the best gear to have so yeah, that's pretty much what the Dark Zone really is to you guys. Like, it's not that really much to it, but the thing I want to say to improve a bit more is kind of give signals where the fuck is the damn loot. Because I, I was playing this for a couple of hours, and I, I did not actually find any loot unless I killed someone, which made no sense to me. And also I killed the, um, the AI character once, and I got all right loot, but it's not like, perfectly, if that makes sense. So... It kind of makes no sense to me how you're supposed to get good loot. Maybe when that town actually opens up even more. Because there's only a, lot, a certain little area allowed in because um, of the beta, of course. But it'd be quite interesting to see how this will expand and how it will be played out as a division. I'm hoping that you won't be able to spawn trap people. Because I've heard about people getting spawn trapped on the dark zone. And it's quite weird seeing that because it's quite sh it's sad to see people actually spawn trapping people that come into the dark zone and get nothing for it because you know yes you, you come rogue and then people will be hunting your down you down if you're not blocking the other entrance and pretty much you if you get killed you lose a lot of xp when you're uh, on rogue so and you and also with rogue as well if you actually escape with you like you can escape with rogue like you, don't, you won't always be on your heads so pretty much you'll be low on there for a certain amount of time but depending on how many people you kill like uh if you kill like two or three people like actual pvp players then it'll pretty much will um, put your bounty up more higher and it takes longer to actually um, go away, if that makes sense. So let's say you've killed three people and you're a rogue and pretty much it will take so long to actually get your rogue down. So it takes like 70 seconds to have your rogue come down. And as you see here, I got fucking battered by AI characters. So quite shit really but you know these AI characters are hiding anywhere like it makes no sense where they actually are hiding but anyway guys this has been the Royal Kind 5 right here I hope you enjoyed this bit of Dark Zone kind of commentary tips about it 
and hopefully that this will be a much more bigger improvement and be much more fun. Anyway guys, this has been the Boy Icon 5. Like I said, subscribe and follow more. Leave a like if you did enjoy and I'll talk to you later. Let's see Icon 5. Peace!